on. OMG, we bought a house. You love it? That's so crazy. It's so magical, right? On the inside of the garage. We're going to put our doors. chandelier up there. Why don't we just make the world's largest coffee table? Ah! No, no, go, 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 go. Oh, 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 go. Wait, go. go down. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. Okay, door. Coming! What's Hello. up, guys? Welcome back to our living room. I'm so excited. We're gonna do the dining room and a room that we have been meaning to tackle for a while, which is the breakfast nook. Oh. And my, Joey my has carpentry project. Yes, some epic skills happening in that room, you guys. It's gonna be pretty and comfy and cozy and pretty. Let's do it. Are we at two million subscribers, by the way? Are we yet? If we're not, we're like seconds away, like two people away. So hey, two new people, and also thumbs up this video while you're at it. Hundred thousand thumbs up. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, do we bought a house? Let's do it. To tell you about today's sponsor and special discount code. I am a skincare fanatic and I think you guys are really gonna like this product. It is the Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin Face and Body Cleansing Brush. It's an all in one solution for a healthy and glowing complexion. It comes with four detachable brush heads, which are cruelty free by the way, and they easily pop on and off. And they help remove dry, dead skin cells from the surface of your skin to keep pores from clogging and prevent breakouts, blemishes, blackheads, whiteheads, ingrown hairs, and all the other not so cuties. The first brush head is a daily cleansing facial brush, which is made of ultra soft nylon bristles designed to remove the outer layers of dead skin and debris, making the facial skin more radiant and clear. I love this brush. Then there's the exfoliating facial brush. It's made of pliable synthetic bristles designed to break apart dead, hardened skin that dulls the look of your skin. Exfoliating is great because it increases blood circulation to the face, which breaks down toxins and encourages new skin cells to come through. I love that it also comes with a larger nylon body brush that you can use to clean broad sections of your skin, such as your arms, legs, and torso. It works a lot quicker and more effectively than traditional washcloths or loofahs, and it leaves the body skin feeling so smooth and clean, trust me. It also comes with a pumice stone that you can use to exfoliate the callus, crack skin on your heels for soft, sandal-ready footsies. OMG, and the best part, you guys, you can get your own Spin for Perfect Skin brush at the link in the description below, and you get 70% off if you use my code Mr. Kate. What a deal! Okay, now let's get back to OMG We Bought a House. All right. Are you gonna let it fall now? Well, I think it... It's, it's attached? Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh. Uh. So we've taken out our old dining room table, which was obviously that big rectangle, which Joey cut down and made into our new coffee table. And so we're gonna need to bring in a new dining table, but first, we need a new light fixture because we took the chandelier that used to be in this dining room and put it in our garage. So we are hanging a new globe light, which is like a funky sculptural light with like the exposed filament bulbs under globes. It's like bulbs in bulbs. What? Double bulb? Double Yay! Bulb. I want to audition a rug because we have a round. Where, where, where are all these rugs coming from? A round. <laughs> Kate's got options. You guys know I like options. And so I have two rugs that I want to try for under the new dining room table that we're going to bring in. So since we have a smaller table going in here and it's round, uh -huh. we need a smaller rug. Because the rug we had in here before was big rectangle. I bought it for the size of our dining table, which is now our coffee table. First one is this like woven jute. It's kind of like a doily. It's also kind of muted because we have the black wall in there. I want to do something a little more I also more feel like chairs are gonna be good on that kind of a rug. Yeah, well it obviously needs to relax now. Rug, sir, you need to relax. All right, okay, so Okay, not so option one. feeling that one. So option number two is this vintage cowhide rug that I've had for years. This was let's, a vintage let's see. rug let's, let's, I got forever ago. Let's give it a spin, shall we? Oh yeah. You're gonna have to lint and roll me when you get up. But I love the irregular shape of it and I also like the black and white color which brings in the black and white that's obviously happening over in our living room. This wallpaper was like one of the best decisions we've 
ever made. We took our tray ceiling that's in our dining room and we put up this mural that is just this gorgeous wallpaper mural. It's actually pictures of the lunar surface that NASA took. So the lighting fixture is really important because the ceiling in this room is like a feature. We also did Kate's favorite thing, juxtaposition, and put like a sort of Victorian looking ceiling medallion between the light and the ceiling. It's all beautiful. Can't wait to bring the rest of the stuff in, so let's do it. Okay, Joey, before we do the gallery wall, let's fill up this. Before we get to the gallery wall, I wanna fill up this little cabinet. When we first moved in, we made it our like bar area. I didn't love the look of all the liquor bottles and the labels kind of cluttered, but we do have some awards. Shorty Award from last year, best in house and home. That was an exciting moment. Bill Nye the Science Guy handed me the award backstage. A dog had just won. I was in line behind a wiener dog. Mm-hmm. New media. Speaking of, we are nominated for a Shorty Award this year too, which you guys can vote on. We're nominated for Best Web Series for OMG We're Coming Over, which we know you guys love. Thank you so much. You guys vote with me. We'll be all voting together. Links in the description. Shorty Awards. Dot com. Best web series, OMG, we're coming over. Come on, guys, help us fill up this cabinet. And then I go to vote. If all two million of you voted, I'm sure we would win. Oh my gosh, I just voted. So hopefully we'll win that award and that'll also go in that cabinet. Also, Joey, when he was in the Click Five, they won a bunch of Boston Music Awards. So there's five members of the Click Five. I bet you couldn't guess that. And they have stolen these awards from each other over the years, like it's kind of a running joke. Like if they're in each other's houses, they'll just like steal them. So Joey <laughs> stole these two off the mantle from Ben, who was the keyboard player in the Click Five. So now they're at our house. They've actually been at our house for a while. So now Ben is gonna be seeing this video and he might come and steal them, which means we need to win more awards. This is from my late grandfather's basement. Mm -hmm, that's weird. Yeah, and this is, this was our community award from the LAYN for our community service last year. We need like a really small award. No, this is what we're gonna put in there. I carved this lady out of stone. All right, so pictures? Yeah, gallery wall. So should we like lay them yeah, all out? Yeah, lay them out here, map it out, and they're going up here. I love gallery walls because it's a way to really showcase photography from your travels or experiences. And Joey and I, this last year, had a lot of fun trips that we went on. We formed a lot of fun memories, so having those around will be really fun. The way we're gonna get these pictures on the wall is a trick that I think we have shown you before. Let's check out our gallery wall three ways video. Seems like a really easy thing to do, right? Like you're just hanging pictures on the wall. But when you're trying to hang a bunch of pictures on the wall and you want them to have some sort of similar margins going on with where they're placed or whatever, you can just start putting them up, you know? But I've done it enough times that you end up hating yourself at the end of it because to get things level, to get the spacing right, it just becomes like a total headache. So this is a really great trick if you have some scrap paper. We happen to have a giant roll of butcher block craft paper. You can even use newspapers. And we're laying it out in the size of the piece of wall that we want to cover with all the frames. So we're just going to be able to lay the frames exactly where we want them, get the spacing right, and once we've done that, you can just put this big piece of paper up on the wall, and then using my laser level, I'm just gonna make sure one of the rows is straight, and that's gonna mean the rest of the pictures are straight. You know where your nail holes need to be from looking at the back of your frames, you just measure those spots, nail them in, and then once your nails are in the wall, you can just rip the paper off the wall, you just go through and hang your pictures up, and it comes out exactly how you planned. Wow. Wow, this is so different than our last dining table. So this table we're bringing in is so cool. The last table we had obviously had four legs. It was a rectangular table, but this is a pedestal table. It is a beautiful kind of sculptural base. It's iron on the base and then a nice beautiful quartz on the top. Look at these. I love this so compared pretty. to those white ones we had because like the fact that there's no so armrests. They're so sturdy. They are very sturdy. I'm obsessed with these dining chairs. You guys know that I like juxtapositions. And nothing is more beautiful than having wood with stone. And I love the basket weave. It's so cool and such like a fun juxtaposition with the table. And we're keeping the old vintage hutch 
right here, right? Yeah. When we first moved in, we placed this Victorian hutch that we have. It has a wood base with a marble top. It's actually from like the 1800s. It's a beautiful antique piece and it fits perfectly. So there's no reason to move it. So we're just going to leave that where it is and we're going to kind of feature it by putting a giant mirror above it. Is this the same mirror we put in Liza's place? Yeah. I can immediately start fixing it. <laughs> my contour, not my contour. The one we used in Liza's place was the copper. This is the brass, but it is the same mirror. I love a mirror in a dining room because it is actually good feng shui, feng shui. You guys will correct me in the comments because it reflects the bounty of whatever food you have happening on the dining table. So it's nice to have a reflective element in a dining room. Okay, so I'm gonna put it up. I'm just gonna need you to be my eyeballs. <laughs> this is heavy. Oh God, don't strain like that. Wait, wait, wait okay. Uh, wait, set it down for a second. <sighs> go on that side and I'll- I had the same problem when I it in Liza's place. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, it's so great. It's circular, it's round, it's like the moon for the wallpaper, and we have the round medallion and the round table. Okay, breakfast nook, I'm so excited. This breakfast nook has been a project that has been happening this whole week, you guys. Joey went and bought all the lumber for it. Joey's building a bank. So here is my sketch of the breakfast nook. Bench, bench, bench. I didn't want it to be built in all the way to the ground. I wanted there to be some space underneath to be able to kind of tuck my feet back. These are all the cuts I gotta make. Whoa. I can't tell you how important it is to make a cut list. I've learned this over the years. You need to draw everything out, figure out your dimensions, know exactly the lengths you're gonna cut. And that way when you go to the store, you're getting the exact amount of material you need. You already got all your measurements, so it's just Cut, 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 Place it in the space, get it all screwed together. This is such a much better use of space. Like, I'm excited. It's not, we're sitting on it. It's not falling in. It feels sturdy. Yeah, no, you did a really good job with this. We're like embracing the very petite size of this room. So Joey's doing all the building. My part of this project was picking out the fabric and taking it to our upholstery guy. And I found this fabric severely discounted. It was $7.50 a yard, which was amazing because it's really high quality, nice and durable. And so I bought a bunch of yards of it, brought it to our upholsterer, and he's making the cushions for us. Oh! Look at this, cushion. I think that's French for cushion. Cushon. So I had Louise also make these kini pillows, they're called. Excuse me? Yeah. Kidney? Kini. I think they're kidney pillows. No, they're not kidney pillows, they're kini pillows. Mm. Joey. Look that up. I'm pretty sure they're kidney pillows. Kini, kini? Okay, bikini shape, no. Bikini wax shape, so that is not what I'm, please don't show me those cool. It's a kidney pillow. Oh man, this is gonna be an epic nap spot. Oh. Whoever built this bench did a really good job. I just have to put it in the table and then we're basically done in here. You guys know I love pattern rugs. Pattern rugs in the kitchen are especially great because if you spill stuff on it, it's a lot easier to disguise. I love a, it. We're doing a kitchen galley rug cuddle. Oh, it's nice and long. Whoa! Joey. What? We've gotten so much done here uh -huh. at this house. Something tells me we a just are never gonna finish kitchen. it. So, should we just eat it or? Various eating spots. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have to toast on all of our tables. Toast on the tables. Toast on the tables. Toast to all of our surfaces. Come on. Oh what are we drinking? Lemon, lemon water. water? All right, you make the lemon water. I'll lay on the uh, banquet. Wait, how beautiful is this rug? Oh, I need a lemon. 
an OMG We Bought a House tradition, lemon water. And sip away. <gasps> cheers. This is definitely my new favorite room. Mm -hmm. Wait, let's go test out the dining room table. Mm. Okay, cheers to the breakfast nook. You look great. Okay, okay, let's try the dining table, shall we? I gotta decide which is my favorite room. I mean, realistically, this is maybe my favorite room. Oh, this is your favorite room? This table is more us. Yeah, the flow. It's small. And it's round, it's a good flow, because this is our pass-through room. We've got like, door, 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 door. Cheers, I still haven't sit. I adore you. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. You wanna give me a foot massage? Mm -hmm. Not in the dining room, Kate. The, no? No. The this breakfast is, nook? What? Breakfast no. nook foot massage. Breakfast nook foot massage. Tag your in. Sure, but if you go first, that means I get a longer round after you. I do 10 minutes, then you give me a 20 minute massage. No, what? That's the rule. That's how it works. I massage you now, you massage me later, but you have to massage me for twice as long because whoever goes first gets the shorter massage. That's the rule. Gosh, you're not making up new rules. That's not a new rule. That is an age old rule. I love how all this looks. Our space is really coming together. It's reflecting who we are, who we've grown into over these last four years. There's so many fun things in this house. What do you guys think? Or the dining room. I love that nook. All the space in there is now being used, and it was like a little room, you know. I'm gonna be rotating a my small meals. Small room, yeah. Rotating meals and foot massages. Guys, we're gonna end this because she owes me a foot massage now. Um, that was not the deal, no. Thumbs up to uh, <laughs> to more foot massages for Kate. <laughs> the dining spaces. Yes. they are in your home. To surfaces everywhere for glasses and meals. Don't forget to vote for us for the Shorty Awards. Oh yeah. So we can get that Shorty this year. We would love to win another one this year. This year we're nominated in Best, best Web Series. Best Web Series for OMG We're Coming Over. So last year we won Best in House Home. Speaking of OMG <laughs> We're Coming Over, something might be coming out. <laughs> Very shortly. Very shortly. Make sure you subscribe to see that. I think a lot of you guys know who's first up for this year. It's a duo, it's a couple. <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay, well thanks so much for watching. We love hanging out with you guys per usual and uh, leave us a comment below. Thumbs up, subscribe, we said all that. Love you. Love you. Mm. You eye my lipstick, <laughs> come in Just slow. Just to make sure it's not super wet. <laughs> Yo, I don't have a wet lipstick. <laughs> Anyways, bye. Bye guys. <laughs>why don't you get the picture stuff okay and let's do the gallery gallery wall ah! no remember we practiced this we did i never practiced this no okay Th that was her other weave up 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 down down ready boom 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 oh my god well, no i like doing that <laughs> like the flappy one <laughs>